Today, it's playtime. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am bringing you something completely new on our channel, which we haven't done before. Animation related, of course, but we are going to be reviewing some new dolls that have come out for the Tinkerbell series. So there's a Tinkerbell doll, and there is a Zarina doll, which I'm so excited for. So these are actually from D Jack's Pacific, so they're not Barbies, they're not Mattel, they're, they're dolls. And they actually look really cool, so I'm going to unbox these, and I'm just going to show you things, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing, let's talk about the Tinkerbell doll. This is the, the lower price point doll. It's, it's a little cheaper in quality, which you will see when I open it up. It's from the Sparkle Ballet collection, and we got Tinkerbell. So very, very cool there. Now the other one is the Pirate Fairy collection, basically, and we got Serena. And much, like, more high quality, obviously, this is a more expensive doll, but it's really cool that you get to see both, so you can kind of see the price point and what comes with it, and what's the difference if I'm giving this as a gift or, you know, want to buy it for my children or for you, uh, you can kind of see the difference between how much you want to spend and what you're going to get for both of those. Alright, so I am going to start off by reviewing both of these. First, we're going to look at the Tinkerbell doll. So here is the Tinkerbell. She's part of the Sparkle Ballet collection, obviously. We're going to unbox her real quick, uh, just so it, you can see what's happening on the box. It lets you know she's part of the Sparkle Ballet Tink. A little did you know? And then what other four dolls are in the collection. So you can get you can get Periwinkle, you can get Tink, you can get Silver Mist, and Rosetta. So that's pretty cool. So to unbox this, it's actually pretty easy. So I'm going to move this one away while we unbox. Okay, so there's a little perforated edge all around the box. There's a little tab which you can push in, and then you just pull apart. So I'm going to do that like so, and not doing it very well. But it made it easy to at least get the process started, which is nice. So there's that. And then Tinkerbell is held in with like a little form just to make sure she's not wiggling around. And pull her out, check her out. Okay, oops. So there she is right there. And she is connected with just some little rubber bands, which you know you could use as hair ties later. So she has one on her hand. She has another one on her hand down here. Oh, that's actually, she's more bolted in down there. So I'm just ripping those because I don't have time for this. <laughs> and uh, sorry. Yeah. So here she is. Um, she's actually a little hard to get out. You need parental supervision apparently. So there's some tape. Gosh, this is hard. Um, so, probably need scissors for this. So let me go back and get some scissors. Okay, I am back with scissors. So I am going to cut these little things right here and here. And then she has some other ones on her legs, which you're just gonna cut away. Oh, I already did those ones. Eh. And one's around her wrist. You can't even see. Give me two seconds, I'm gonna do this and we're gonna come back. All right, so that is what she looks like. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, she still has like some of these things stuck in her hair. She still has like some of these little things stuck in her hair. So I guess you're just going to have to cut these little things out. That's kind of weird to me, but um, on the, yeah. We'll talk about it in a second. All right, our next one is Zarina. So here she is, and here is the back of her packaging. So there's a little scene from the movie, the part of the Christian Siriano concept design of what she was gonna look like. Buy the Blu-ray on Blu-ray DVD, Disney Fairies logo, Pirate Fairy logo, and then the others that you can buy. So you can buy Tink, who's super cool, wearing purple and green. You can buy Zarina, Periwinkle, and Rosetta. So you can't buy all the fairies, but there are four total in the collection. So let's open this up. Um, it has tape on the top, 
So I am just going to use my scissors and cut that. Okay, so that's that. And then there's tape on the whole sides of this box. So give me two seconds, I'm going to cut her out. All right, I am back. I was gonna unbox these for you, but then I realized, holy cow, this unboxing is gonna take me 25 minutes. Nobody wants to see that. Everyone just wants to see the dolls. So here they are. You can check them out in all of their glory. Tinkerbell right here, and then Zarina. Oops, Tinkerbell still has her little like rubber bands around her shoes, but nobody knows. So, okay, let's talk about the Tinkerbell one first. This is the cheaper doll. So her hair is not as high quality, but she has just a little cute little bun on top. And it's actually not like a full bun, it's just, little pieces that are curled to look like a bun. And then, you know, her face is really nice. Her arms, mine's like dirty. So her arms really don't move very much. It's just up and down, there's no bend to them. So basically you can do this pose, this pose, and this pose, and well, the other arm. So she, her bodice is plastic, it's part of the doll. So if you take off the skirt, it's just, ah, the wings. Okay, we will talk about the wings because they fall off all the time. Um, so she just kind of has a little one piece that's built in. And her skirt is sort of this iridescent pinky purple, which is really cute. So fairy ballerina, she's adorable. Um, the back, so this is how the wings stay on. And this probably isn't my favorite feature of this doll because they keep falling. There's no like lock in place. This has sort of a, kind of a keyhole shape, and so this also does. So you plug the wings in, and you push them in, but they're kind of wiggly, not very secure. But the wings are plastic, and they have a really cute design on them. So I liked that, but they kind of, if you bump it too much, it'll fall off. So she's not going to be a fairy anymore, she'll just be a human. Um, her shoes are just little cute fairy shoes. They look like little leaves. And I thought that was super cute. I like it. Um, this is actually just a really cute doll. It's, ah, you see that? Yeah. Um, this is why this is the cheaper doll. That's okay. Um, this is a doll that you would get for someone, you know, uh, you don't really know them that well. Your kid got invited to a birthday party. We gotta get them something. And you know, the girl likes Tinkerbell. This would be something that you would buy for that sort of thing. Or if you just can't afford the, the pirate fairy collection, these ones are good. This is kind of an entry level doll and really cute. Her legs do not bend. Um, you know, some do, but hers don't bend at all. Very, very sturdy. Um, and her head, ah, the, the wings, the head does not, uh, it does turn. Okay. I thought I broke it. Um, so the head turns. It just needed a little uh, elbow grease. So yeah, the head turns and it's a slightly different color than the body, but you really can't tell unless you get up in close. All right, so this is the Tinkerbell doll from the Sparkle Ballet collection. Okay, let's move on to my favorite, which is this Zarina doll. She is beautiful already I'm saying go for this collection this one is amazing everything is really 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 well done I mean her hair it has highlights in her hair so it's, it's kind of like Sunset Shimmer from My Little Pony the Equestria Girls movie there's a little bit of like blonde highlights and then red like can I get my hair this color because this is amazing this is like Jaclyn Hill I'm telling you um, so Zarina, a lot of the costumes in this movie were designed by Christian Siriano. So her outfit, this is definitely inspired by the dress she wears in the movie. It's different, it's a lot brighter. Her bodice in the movie is darker, it's like a dark brown. Um, but really well made. You can see that the bodice is separate from the shirt that's underneath. I mean, they're connected, but let's see, let's check this out. The wings are Velcro. And yeah, okay, so it's just one piece, but you can even like move the bodice down a little bit and it has really, really, really good stitching and just lace up here and the fabric is so nice. Like they put a lot of effort into this one, which is why I like it so much. She has ear one earring that can be removed and um, she moves more than the Tinkerbell doll. So all of her wrists move, her elbows move. So you can do a lot more poses with her, like you can make her sassy, you can make her a cheerleader. Um, her legs also move likewise. Um, so we're still gonna focus on the top half. So she has a headband, which is 
removable on the back, it's Velcro, but uh, I like the headband, I think it's cute. Her hair has really cute curls, and really, I mean, uh, I love this doll, it's so cute. Her belt, uh, very reminiscent of the one in the movie, just a little bit different color, it has some texture to it. Um, it's gold with these little balls, and then she has a, you know, three layers on her skirt. There's a purple layer underneath, there's sort of a, a another purple layer that's um, sheer with little polka dots on top. I don't know if you can see it. And then a blue layer, um, another layer of tulle. So really cute. She also has underwear, which is blue. So when you remove her clothing, um, she's not completely exposed. So here's the cool thing. Here are these boots. And the boots are super easy to take off. The boots uh, are kind of split in the back. These are tall boots, so trying to stick a uh, doll leg into them would be hard, but because it has that in the back, it makes it really easy to put on and to take off. Um, oh, it's really like cool design because you don't necessarily need it to be connected like you would a human boot. And the boots are little platform wedges, which are really cute, and her foot does not move up and down. It is permanently wearing a high heel, so there you go. Okay, so let's talk about her wings. Her wings are a little flimsier than the other ones, but they stay on better. So it has a little piece of Velcro right here. The Tinkerbell wings from the other collection, they were plastic and they were really hard, but they fell off all the time. So this is a lot better because you can just, on the back of her bodice, you can stick her wings. So I guess a downside of that is it's not connected to her body, so this is really the only outfit she can wear with these wings. Maybe you can buy different outfits and hopefully they have an attachment for wings there, but this is basically, if this is the only outfit you have and you want her to wear wings, yeah, she's gonna be wearing this outfit. So looking at her face, like the detail on it, um, there's maybe a little bit more than the Tinkerbell doll. Tinkerbell doesn't have blush, she does. Um, it just looks slightly more realistic, like her eyebrows actually have little like fine lines in them that make it look like hair, while Tinkerbells are just one line. And so there's a little bit more detail on the face to make her more, you know, fancy. Okay, so here are the two dolls together, one without wings because I'm just not even going to mess with that anymore. And I would definitely say go for this one. Look how beautiful she is. Let's just put her hair behind her for a second, but she just has these gorgeous locks, really intricate, really beautiful. They put a lot of quality and time into making this, and so I just really like it. The other dolls in the collection look really cool. The Tinkerbell one, man, I would love to get that Tinkerbell doll. Now this doll is perfect, it's cute, it's kind of your entry level doll. Um, it has everything that you need, and I think that's, you know, when you're little, you don't need all the bells and whistles, and especially when you're on a budget, like I budget, and you know sometimes you can't afford certain things. So definitely, if you you have a girl who loves Tinkerbell, um, get these ones. Zarina is not in this collection; she is only in the Pirate Fairy collection. So if you're looking for Zarina, this is the one that you want to get. If you want to buy any of these dolls, I've included an Amazon affiliate link down below, and right here you can check it out and buy each of them. By doing so, you support the show so we can do more of these fun reviews and just keep keep going. This is really fun. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below which you would like most. Would you like Tink from the Sparkle Ballet Collection or Zarina from the Pirate Fairy Collection? Thumbs up if you like Tinkerbell. And until the next doll review, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.